Yo, what's good? Good morning, all. It's your man, Mondo Red Boy, courtesy of DVE Sportsworks. Shout out to Team DVE. Shout out to the subscribers. Shout out to the supporters. Shout out to everybody on their way in. And everybody just getting home from a long night work. Well, let me start off by saying congratulations to Don Staley, South Carolina. <coughs> they completed an uh, undefeated season, and they defeated Iowa. And are the current national championships of women's collegiate sports. And once again, Kayla Clark can't see a championship. <laughs> and let me say, look, shout out to Kayla Clark. I think Kayla Clark is amazing. I think she's an awesome athlete. I think she has she has game. I think she could potentially be the Steph Curry of the WNBA. I think she's gonna have a pretty stellar career. But having said that. Let me say, shout out to uh, Ticket TV, shout out to Tyle Biz, shout out to Roland Martin, shout out to everybody who's been keeping it 100 and following this whole Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark thing. Well, it ain't no Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark thing. It's just, I find that mighty eye with Caitlin Clark, who started all that and was doing that to everybody. When it got done to her, now it's a problem. Because y'all keep trying to, you know, y'all keep trying to sensationalize certain athletes. And uh, the question came up, a lot of people call it Caitlin Clark the GOAT. <coughs> they asked Don Staley about it. Don Staley gave us 100 answers you could get. It was a photo game, obviously. She said, look, if Caitlin Clark can win one, okay, Forest College should be the GOAT. That didn't happen, though, did it? My thing is this. When we, so when do we celebrate runner-ups? Where? You know what I'm saying? The Detroit Lions almost went to the Super Bowl this year. Nobody in Detroit celebrating that. Hell, we still mad about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Texas Rangers are the World Series champions. Who cares who they beat? I forgot who they beat. And it wasn't that long ago. That's crazy. <sighs> Michigan Wolverines are the national champions of college football. Who did they beat? What's their names? You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. <laughs> Nah, shout out to the Washington Huskies. I'm just making an example. Good program, too, I might add. <coughs> it just turns my stomach when I see all these buffoons and morons that look like me, look like me, look like Andrew Reese, and yeah, y'all got something to say. And Emmanuel Acho, look, man, you good at what you do. Acho, you an idiot sometimes, man. You just are. I have always felt that way about you. Especially how you did Marcellus Wiley when it was just easier to say you wanted to do your own thing. And he called you out on that, too. And I, I, shout out to Ticket TV. Emmanuel Acho does have a history of doing that shit. He does. I can't wait to hear Paul Pierce take today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And only thing I only thing I hate about what Paul Pierce, Pierce critiqued Kayla Clark, look, that's cool. As far as the basketball player she is, I get it. But Paul, you Paul Pierce brought he brought race to the to the table. I don't think that was a. I don't think that was a good look. You know, it just amazes me. And look, man, South Carolina just completed a perfect season, y'all. And we talking about Kayla Clark and Iowa losing. Where we do? Where they do that? At? Not on planet Earth, as far as I know. That's crazy. <coughs> and say what you want about Angel Reese. I'll tell you what, as far as Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark go, one is a champion and one isn't. Period. Now, I'm going to say this. This is just me. I think, I do believe <coughs> long term, I think Caitlin Clark's gonna have a better career. I do believe that. However, that's not me. That's not saying Angel Reese is not gonna have a great career. Cause right now, I feel Angel Reese is more marketable. Not that you can't market Katie Clip, uh, Katie Clark. I just think Angel Reese is a little more marketable right now. And then. Y'all lamestream media motherfuckers, y'all kill me nowadays. Always trying to play the narrative game. 
Now, when she was asked about that, now Stanley was asked about Kayla Clark being the GOAT, and she responded the way she did. So we got Dickie B, legendary college coach, legendary personality in college basketball. Dick Vitale, I got love for you and I respect you, but, man, sit your ass down. Sit down. Shh. Get up out of here, bro. Yeah, you're right. Basketball is a team, team game. You're right. It is a team sport. But tell me one sport where somebody is considered the greatest ever and don't at least have a championship on their resume. What sport does that happen in? And I don't know who the GOAT is in baseball, but I'm pretty sure you got multiple World Series. It might be a pitcher for all I know. Might be Babe Ruth. Who knows? I can't throw Barry in there because Barry didn't win one. <coughs> Barry Larkin did. <laughs> Shout out to him. But yeah, and even as great as greatest, see, Michael Jordan is the GOAT as far as basketball. If Michael Jordan only had one ring, I don't think I'd be calling him the GOAT. <sighs> I mean, now, motherfuckers love Larry Bird. When Magic beat Bird, we celebrated Magic, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, Bird would eventually beat Magic. I mean, Bird, yeah, he would eventually beat Magic as well. So this whole thing, so this whole thing about, you know what I'm saying, because at the end of the day, we don't celebrate losing. That's just what it is. Point blank, period. I don't care what none of y'all got to say on that. And let's just keep it real. As far as women collegiate sports and WNBA, nobody cares anyway. That's not me being rude. I'm not being a prick. I'm just being, I'm just being honest with it. But again, shout out to Don Staley, shout out to Carolina, and salute to uh, Kaylee Clark. I wish her a good, I wish her a successful career. I wish the best for Angel Reese. You know what I'm saying? Angel Reese was getting death threats and shit. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy to me. I just find it ironic. You know, a white girl going around doing all this is, you know, you're like, oh, she's passionate. She's loving the game. When a sister does it, oh, she's Tupac. She's a thug, you know. That's crazy. So I'm going to get out of here on this note, get ready to go to work from here. So, you know, once again, so salute to Don Staley. Staley. They should be talking about y'all. I don't know why we're talking about Caitlin Clark once again failing. But it is what it is. And even though Caitlin Clark, yeah, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Now, she... She has stated she ain't got no problem with Angel Reese. They done talking everything. At the same time, even though you're not obligated to, Caitlin, you can come, you can step to the podium and say something. Like, look, y'all, I appreciate y'all's support. I appreciate the fact y'all love me. But as far as this extra shit and all this racist nonsense, knock it off, y'all. Seriously. It's not hard to do. And let's keep it real, Caitlin. You know the type of people that support you. You might not be like be like that, but you know some of the people. How some of the people supporting you is. It is what it is. This your man, Mondo Ray Boy, courtesy of DV Sports Works. I'll get at y'all later. Peace.